So I was asked to compare fast API and go and initially I wasn't very interested. I mean why would you compare something written in python to go. But recently I came across their official documentation page and uh, yeah I'm gonna compare them. They have claimed that fast API is on par with go and node.js. Now there is a point that node.js and go are not on the same level but fast API should not be comparable to any of them. Now I was asked to compare fast API and go but I'd also throw in node.js as they also compared it to node and node is more reasonable as far as the reason go than the absurdity of comparing it to go. I've done like 4 videos comparing performances so you probably already know the drill. I will be using AutoCannon and Postman on a VM with the following configuration. For database this time we are using Postgres. We have a user stable with 10,000 users. Now take my results with a grain of salt and you'll find a link to repository in description or in the pinned comment where you can find the code to all these APIs as well as the collection for Postman. And if you have some suggestions that might help change the results of this video then do let me know in the comments. Okay so let's start with Postman. So in Postman we will be targeting these 5 endpoints. The first one fetches all 10,000 users from the table. The second one fetches a single user based on email and password. And the rest three are pretty obvious, inserts, updates and deletes. Now in previous video we have seen that Go, Rust and Zig achieved about 10 to 20% of error rate. And by the way high error rate does not mean that the application is performing worse. As high error rate suggests that so many users have been deleted that we are getting error when fetching single user or updating the user. We have set up a ramp up load profile with 25 virtual user, 1 initial load for 5 minutes. All three applications are on your screens with their CPU usage. Can you guess which one is which? Within first few seconds we had a clear difference between the performance of all three APIs. All three of them being on different levels. Now as suspected fast API was the worst performer followed by node with go being at the top. If we look at the CPU usage we can see that for fast API the CPU usage was a lot sporadic and slightly higher. For node the CPU usage was slightly higher than go but it was not that sporadic. Whereas go probably had the least CPU usage and it was a lot more consistent compared to fast API. Now if we jump into details we can see the performance of go was leagues above in all respects. Will node come really close in minimum response time but other than that go was in completely different league. Same goes for node when comparing with fast api. The average response time was quite similar in some cases but overall node was much much faster. Now the endpoint in which we were fetching all 10,000 users skewed the result against fast api. So next one which is autocan is going to be horrible for fast api. As the time went on the difference between these three applications kept on increasing. Now all the APIs are degrading over time but go even after degrading is pretty solid whereas nodes performance is getting less than ideal. Whereas fast API is getting within the bad category. Now by the end of the test there is a clear difference in their CPU usage as well as error rate. As expected Go went between 10 to 20% whereas Node.js was at 7.5, Fast API at 5.6. Next up we have Autocannon. This is more synthetic test. 
as all the requests we will be firing will be on a single endpoint and that too on the one which is fetching all 10,000 users. So it's gonna exaggerate the performance difference between these APIs. Now in AutoCannon, we will be firing 2000 requests with 10 connections and then we'll compare the time it took each of the API to complete this test. I will be fast forwarding these tests as these take a bit of time. Let's start with Node.js as its performance will be in between both the other APIs. This CPU usage for this API was hovering between 60-80% to which is pretty decent. The memory usage was also not that bad, it was about 200 MBs. It took 147 seconds for Node to complete this test, which is honestly slightly worse than I was expecting. Next we'll boot up Fast API. The memory usage of Fast API was almost identical to Node.js, but what was different was the CPU usage. It was just everywhere. The average CPU usage was at about 50%, but the CPU usage of CPU 1 and 2 was going up and down like crazy, and it was clearly not very efficient. It took a considerably long time compared to Node and finished at about 419 seconds. Finally, I fired up Go API and it had a pretty smooth CPU usage. It hovered between 80 to 100%. It was very stable. For memory usage, it was also slightly lower than the other APIs at about 100 MBs. And by the way, I had to fast forward for both Node and Fast API, whereas for Go, I didn't even fast forward it. You can see it completed within 23 seconds. And as always, the performance of Go is pretty good across the board. Now, in my previous comparisons, I did multiple tests starting with 2000 requests, ending up with 10,000. Now, in this case, there is no need, as there is a pretty big difference between the performance of these three APIs. But I did run 10,000 requests in Go and it finished within 112 seconds. Which means that Go took less time to complete 10,000 requests than it took for Node.js to complete 2,000. Now as for my final thoughts, Fast API is pretty decent as a framework. It's really really easy to learn and to build stuff with. But it's clearly not the front runner in performance. There are plenty of applications that don't require super high level of performance but comparing it to something like Note is not fair and there is not even a comparison between these two and Go. So that's all for this video now I know I was a bit late on this topic if you have any more suggestions do drop them in comments give a thumbs up subscribe I'll see you in the next one.